Hey Lenny, do you know the significance of today? You know me right, I don't keep track of such things. What is it anyway? It's International Yoga Day. Oh, Yoga Day, that's not my cup of tea. That's why I'm here to tell you about it. I have a story of two friends. A story? Well, go on. I can listen to stories all day. Vijay and Somya are two best friends. They go to the same school, study in the same class. Whenever they're together, it gives them immense joy. They're so close that never any issue has cropped up between them. But Somya is often sad. Sad? Why? What happened? Isn't he a happy child? Of course he is a happy child. But his mother is concerned about his lethargy and low levels of performance. At beaten school or elsewhere. If he was left alone, he would roll in his bed all day. That's how most of us are, right? If my mom left me alone, I'd be just like him. Unfortunately, that's the story of every house. Samya is a very lazy boy. He sleeps late at night and gets up late. He spends his time loafing and is not at all active. His day starts with mobile, chatting with his friends, clicking selfies and playing games etc. If he is not on the phone, then he spends time on his laptop, watching movies, listening to music or scrolling through social media. Due to this, he can't keep up with his day-to-day -day things. Come on, each individual is unique, right? This is what bothers me. Why don't our elders realize this? We have our own strengths and weaknesses, right? Yes, we do. Let me tell you something. Even Sonia was as disoriented, procrastinating and as lazy as Vijay a few months ago. Seriously? Who brought about this change in him? His mother might have spoiled him. No, no. Ask what brought about the change in him, not who. Don't beat around the bush. Tell me how he changed. I'm curious. Yoga say. He wakes up during the wee hours of the day and does yoga. Does yoga? Yoga is a science. It's a vast subject. Just saying does yoga is not enough. Can you tell me what exactly he does? You seem genuinely interested, don't you? Yes, I am, Kanga. You can see I am. Let's look at his daily routine. Getting up fresh and wide awake from the bed. Sits up spine erect towards the east and stays for a few seconds in a meditative posture. Freshens up, pays respect to the Surya. Starts practicing asanas. Trikonasana or the triangle pose is a foundational standing pose in yoga. Trikona in Sanskrit means triangle while asana means pose. The foundational posture is named for the triangle shape of your body as you bring your bottom hand to the floor and keeps your feet grounded during the move. It increases stability, improves flexibility of spine, improves blood circulation and reduces anxiety and stress. Chakrasana or Urdhava Dhanurasana also known as full wheel pose and up or upward bow pose is back bending pose commonly referred to as back bridge in acrobatics and gymnastics. It gets its name from the Sanskrit word chakra meaning wheel. It opens up our lungs and stretches the chest and shoulders. It refines the act of breathing and stimulates the thyroid and pituitary glands. Bhujangasana is the back bending pose which forms the eighth pose of the twelfth pose of the twelve poses of Surya Namaskara. Bhujangasana comes from the word Bhujanga meaning cobra or snake. It is also known for the cobra pose that is done while lying down on your stomach. It gives the body a good stretch that melts the stress, boosts the body metabolism and fights acidity, indigestion and constipation. Vajrasana is a simple sitting yoga pose. Its name comes from the Sanskrit word Vajra which means the thunderbolt or a diamond. It has been named after the shape it takes, a diamond or a thunderbolt. For this pose, you kneel and then sit back on your legs to take the weight off your knees. It helps to make the body strong, improves concentration, provides relief from constipation and improves digestion. Shashankasana is also known as the pose of the moon or the hair pose. Shashanka is the Sanskrit word which means moon. It calms and cools an individual by eliminating anger, regulates the function of the adrenal glands and helps to relieve fatigue. Anulom Vilom It is a specific type of pranayam or controlled breathing. It involves holding one nostril closed while inhaling, then holding the other nostril closed while exhaling. 
The process is then reversed and repeated. It's a form of alternate nostril breath. It improves breathing, cardiovascular functions, and then reduces stress. After doing yoga, Vujja stays energetic and enthusiastic all day long. Oh my god, the people I need also do yoga? I thought only elders and old people need it. Now I understand the importance of inculcating yoga in our lifestyle. Sonia too can be an active child like Vijay by doing yoga every day. No, no, even the simplest asanas need to be guided by an expert teacher. First, he has to learn all the kriyas and asanas and then join Vijay while doing it. Got it. Now you know how beneficial yoga can be in our daily lives, right? Even a little bit of yoga can make a huge difference in our life. I would want to try some yoga. I would at least want to get rid of my procrastinating nature. And I would like to get less scoldings from my parents. Let us try yoga and change ourselves. Come on friends, let's include a little bit yoga in our daily lives and see the magic. By doing yoga every day, you too can perform complex asanas like my friend Saloni. Would you like to see her perform? I now call upon Saloni to perform her incredible asanas. I'm 